Hi guys, today we teaching you how to glaze your charms with resin. So as you can see, um, I have a few of the charms over here. I have clay charms and plastic string charms. And today I'll be glazing all of them. And first of let's all, you will started. be needing your resin. So please do get your resin mixed first. You also will be needing a um really cheap and useless paintbrush so if you don't want to use paintbrush you can also use um, toothpick but it's your choice so today I'll be using this First for my clay charms if you want to uh, hang your charms if you don't want to get your resin messed up and stick to the um, table just get a uh, what's that called a paper clip and just bend it into this shape with a hook over here and just take your charms and hook it in through the eye pins and so you just hold it like this and you glaze your charms with the resin and just hang it somewhere around that doesn't come in contact with any place to hang it and make sure you don't um, paint too much resin onto it so that you won't drip to the so it's floor. been a few days now and I did let the resin cure for a little bit longer than usual just so that the resin will be cured completely and I think that the result turned out pretty good so let's take a look at the win the pool charm first over here And I think that the results are not good as you can see there. So for this, I actually use resin for for the glazing. And right here I have the charms which are not glazed by resin and it is glazed by triple dip glaze over here which I normally use. And as you can see for the differences, the normal glaze charms with triple thick did look a bit matte finish and they don't really look that glossy compared to the resin one. And it did show a little bit more detailing, detail, I mean detailed, yeah, compared to the resin one. And for the resin one, it did cover up a bit of the detailed, but the benefits of using resin are that they keep your, your charms in pieces and they did secure your charms really safely and they don't wear off easily like the triple thick does and they definitely hold your charms well and they don't get sticky especially triple thick they did get really sticky especially in a really humid places and dust might get stuck to it when it gets sticky and it might get really ruined by all the particles and dust and therefore your charms might break apart especially they are not that secure because clay are really fragile so by using resin they did really um, make your charms really safe and as you know resin they don't break easily and I don't think they actually break at all so by glazing your charms with resin I think it did really put your resin in a really safe um, positions and yeah that's the comparison of the normal one and the resin one so let's move on to the so over here baby I have Eeyore. the baby Eeyore one and right here I have the one that are glazed with triple thick and this is the side to side comparison one of the reasons why I don't like using triple thick is because that as you can see here I have a charms that I've made long time ago and I did glaze these charms with um, triple thick and for the glossiness it did wear off already and for the back it did have this really dirty particles on it because of its stickiness after being in my drawer for a long time and without the resin supporting it, it these charms can be really fragile 
if you are planning to use it for a keychain as a keychain I meant so it's not really good to be using triple tick if you are planning to give a chums away for your friends or even customers because they do get really dirty and ugly or even break off some parts and it'll be really not pleasant looking at it after a while so people might get really sick of it so if you're planning to give your friends or even customer a gift you can maybe try putting in more effort by glazing the charms with resin if you have the spare resin to use and I know that resin did need a lot of effort in mixing and your patience and even days to for it to cure but it'll be definitely worth it after the end of the day the day so yeah that's basically my review and my tutorial on how to glaze of charms with resin so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and all these charms here not including these they are all on sales on my Etsy store I'll be linking the link in the down bar so feel free to check them out if you want to purchase one of my charms and if, if you want the one with resin just leave a message for me so that I will personally pick out the resin one for you if you do not wish to have the resin one you can just tell me so as well and I'll be giving you the one without resin coating so I hope you learn from something from this video and I know I'm not really a professional on resin and um, clays but I do really hope that you get what I shared with you just a piece of little information so I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching and have a nice day